I am William Sherwood and I was born in the Bethel community of Watauga County. Well, my father was raised in a country store and he ran a country store for the first some few years that he and my mother were married and then he was a farmer and, and I, by the time I came along I helped him with the farm and, and consequently learned what I could about the farming business. I'm a farmer. I owned and operated a dairy farm for 46 years and I look after and, and feed and take care of, of a hundred head of brood cows and their babies. Well, it was uh, sort of an odd, odd situation. My dad was about to sell it and I, it sort of made me mad and I told him if he was going to sell it, to sell it to me. So a couple of weeks after I was out of high school, I owed more money and I thought it would never get paid off. I bought my father out. Started back in the, to farming for myself. Went into the dairy business in 1959. Stayed in the dairy business for 46 years. I sold the cows, the dairy cows, in uh, 2005. Well, when I first started, we did most everything by hand and with horses, and now we use tractors and a lot of modern technology. Well, first off, you've got to be willing to put forth a lot of the long hours and quite a bit of hard work, but there's not anything better than a farm life, in my opinion. I've loved it all, all these years, still do. Well, being close to nature and close to seeing how things happen in, in, in the realm of nature and watching the cows and the birth of new baby calves and things like that are very, very rewarding and very gratifying. David Yates, born in Wadaga County, Wadaga Hospital, 1943. Oh, it's changed a lot. We used to do everything with mules, horses, horsepower, and everything's tractor machinery now. Mostly family, neighbors, and school kids that would come in and work, and uh, a lot of guys I grew up with, they worked for the money, coming in to uh, make extra money for the next school year. When do I work now? Uh, well, most every day. you still got lots of cows to feed, lots of things to do, and uh, sometimes you're up 12, 1 o'clock delivering a baby calf, and uh, that's still a big thrill, even if you deliver one or if you just go walk out in the field and find one. If you don't get a rise out of a new calf coming, new baby born, and get up and get that first milk, you're about going. I mean, it's, it's a lot of responsibility, but it's a lot of fun to see it, you know. Well, you got to be, you got to be a hard worker, you got to be a lot of a lot of decisions made, a lot of things that um, to keep the farm going, and uh, I can't, you know, you get that as you walk, as you come up when you're first born, you uh, watch the farm. One of my earliest memories of the farm, I was probably first or second grade. We walked to school. There was no such thing as school bus back then. I guess the most satisfying is when, uh, as the summer goes through, you get the hay up, you watch the baby calves get up to weaning time, and uh, then fall of the year comes, you got to wean the babies, you got to be sure you got enough hay for the winter time, and uh, fall comes, you get a little slack time, you can go fishing, hunting, or just take it easy for a few days. And then when the winter comes in, you're busy for sure with the livestock and all. I'd say the best thing is just to be sure when you make the decision to get into agriculture, farming, horticulture, whatever, is just make sure your commitment, because it is a lot of responsibility. You have to have a lot of, uh, 
a lot of willpower, a lot of determination. It just takes a lot to do it and you have to make a lot of decisions and day-to-day uh, -day things. It keeps you busy for sure. You got to be on your toes.